Since his draft in 2013, Travis Kelsey has grown in the rankings, becoming a very prominent NFL star. He's made some amazing plays and continues to outdo himself. So what did Rob Gronkowski have to say about this top athlete? Why do Patriot fans dislike him? And why do other NFL players hate playing against him? Keep watching to find out. Travis Kelsey has made quite the name for himself in the NFL, but while he may be one of the top players, that doesn't seem to be the only reason other players hate playing against him. To be more specific, New England Patriot fans don't really like him. Now, Patriots fans don't hate a lot of people. Most of the time, they're just focused on how great of a team they have, but occasionally, some players are so annoying that all New England Patriots fans draw their hatred towards them. Travis Kelsey just so happens to be one of those guys. Now, this isn't to say Kelsey isn't great, because when Ron Gronkowski was retired in previous seasons, he was one of the best in the NFL, but according to Patriots fans, Travis Kelsey is possibly the most annoying player in the NFL. One word that is constantly used for him is cringe. This is in part because of some embarrassing moments. For example, after the Super Bowl, Kelsey was excited to say the least, and in an interview, he couldn't hold back channeling his inner Beastie Boys and saying, you gotta fight for your right to Lombardi. However, while the Patriots fans seem to just think he's annoying, Kelsey has his own theory as to why they hate him. The Pats fans, for whatever reason, just hating me for being a white tight end wearing 87, as quoted by Kelsey. But as argued back, race and the number 87 doesn't seem to be the problem, as many believe he is just plain cocky and is trying ever so hard to be a Gronk Jr. In fact, many credit his success completely to Patrick Mahomes, believing that without him, Kelsey would just be mediocre. However, while Patriots fans may dislike Kelsey simply because of his ego, other players have a different reason to hate playing against him. That is, how well he performs. Usually, Kelsey first started playing football during his high school years, and as he does now, he excelled very well. As a matter of fact, in his senior year, Kelsey's offense totaled 2,539 yards, and he earned 10 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. Then after high school, despite receiving scholarship offers from schools such as the University of Miami, University of Akron, and Eastern Michigan University, he chose to unite with his brother at the University of Cincinnati. In his first year, Kelsey was redshirted and played in 11 games, both as a tight end and quarterback. In 2009 season, he had two touchdowns and eight rushes for 47 yards. In his final year of college football, Kelsey had a very impressive performance. He recorded the highest in his college career in touchdowns with eight touchdowns in receptions and 45 touchdowns in receiving yards with 772 yards. For his performance, Kelsey was named the all-conference first team and was awarded the tight end of the year award. His performance in college seemed to pay off because when he entered the 2013 NFL draft, he was picked by the Kansas City Chiefs, signing a four-year contract worth $3.12 million with a $703,000 signing bonus. Early on, Kelsey proved to be worth that multi-million dollar contract. In just his second season, he had 110 receiving yards in the season and led his team in reception. Then the following year, he was named the top tight end in the NFL and even participated in his first Pro Bowl, and since then the athlete has grown and has an amazing career, creating a great name for himself, which is one of the reasons why many don't want to play against him. As Kansas City Chiefs tight end, Kelsey has been one of the most unstoppable players in the NFL for years now. Last season was particularly special, with a type of historical greatness never seen before. So with that said, where does Kelsey rank among the NFL's best tight ends heading into the 2021 NFL season? Well, footballer Mark Schofield recently recently had that same question and ranked the 11 best tight ends in the league. While he says you can stack the top two players any way you wish, he stacked them with Kelsey coming at the number two spot, making the statement while the line between him and George Kittle is very blurry and the discussion is more of a 1A and 1B ranking. What is not in dispute is what Kelsey offers offensively. Kelsey is everything the opposing team and NFL defensive coordinators fear with his amazing ability to separate from man coverage, whether facing facing a safety, linebacker, or a cornerback. Last season, Kelsey became the only tight end in NFL history to record five consecutive 1,000-yard seasons. In addition, became the only tight end in NFL history with multiple seasons with over 100 receptions. Not to mention, he also broke the NFL's first season receiving record by a tight end, a record which was previously held by both Kittle and Kelsey. But Kelsey's greatness as a weapon on offense isn't quite up for debate. The reason that Kittle was ranked ahead of Kelsey Kelsey was because of his all-around ability at the position. Kelsey's blocking has always been greatly underrated, and that 
that seems to be showing up again. Last season, Kittle ousted Kelsey as a pass blocker, but Kelsey's run blocking grades were much better. While Kittle is an extremely talented player and should be recognized as a top tier talent at the position, he's arguably not quite as accomplished as Kelsey yet. Even when these players were stacked up against each other in the NFL's ultimate test, Super Bowl 54, Kelsey came out on top with a better performance and not to mention the win. No one in the league seems to be catching up to him at his position, and he's showing no signs of slowing down as he's now entered his ninth season in the league. While there has constantly been conversation and arguments around Kelsey about if he's the best tight end in the game, a different topic of question is if he's the best pass catcher in the league. With his astonishing records of receiving yards, Kelsey now sits at the top of the NFL leaderboard for receiving yards. So with his position on the list, is it time to say Kelsey's the best receiver in the game? Well, in a discussion of the Kansas City Chiefs performance back in late 2020, Jordan Foote and Tucker Franklin broke down Kelsey's performance and how he ranked among other pass catchers. During the 2020 season, Kelsey recorded over 100 receiving yards in six games, tied for the most by any receiver that year, and tied for most in a single season in franchise history. To add on, one of his games was his 25th career 100-yard game, putting him one shy of tying Pro Football Hall of Famer and fellow tight end Tony Gonzalez for the most in team history. Kelsey has also been incredibly consistent. The 31-year-old logged a reception in 108 consecutive games, the second longest streak in team history behind Gonzalez's 131. While Kelsey had an outstanding 2020 season, he has only grown since then. So far this season, the Chiefs are in a decent standing and Kelsey has played exceptionally. But outside of the stats, what's notable about Kelsey is that he's been there when the Chiefs and quarterback Patrick Mahomes eat him the most. So if Kelsey was listed as a wide receiver, there would be no question he's been the best receiver in the league this season. So what's stopping that conversation from taking place is positional designation. While according to Foote and Franklin, Kelsey's receiving grade of 92.8 is the best of all wide receivers and tight ends, and his overall grade of 93 tops all wide receivers and tight ends as well. Safe to say that Travis Kelsey is establishing himself as an all-time great through his remarkable consistency at a borderline impossible peak. He's already clearly the best tight end in the league, and his box score stats and advanced grades only support the argument, though at this point, that praise isn't high enough. By any measure, Kelsey is automatic, a matchup nightmare, and ruthlessly consistent. And with such good stats, it seems that other players also recognize Kelsey's abilities, one being the great Rob Gronkowski, who believes Kelsey is the best player on the Chiefs' offense. In fact, Gronk made the statement, One thing that's very intriguing about Travis Kelsey is that Kelsey gets better every single year that I've seen him play in the NFL, he explained. And statistically, Gronkowski isn't wrong. Kelsey has been as steady as ever from 2016 up until now, breaking 1,000 receiving yards, scoring at least four touchdowns, and making the Pro Bowl in each season. Kelsey occupies the middle of the field in ways that are only now becoming a leading approach, utilizing the tight end position. Fellow AFC West rival Las Vegas attempts to do something similar with Darren Waller, but Kelsey's experience and fit within Kansas City's offense remains unrivaled at this point. In the end, all these great stats are the main reason why NFL players hate playing against Travis Kelsey. With that said, that's going to wrap up this video. What are your thoughts on Kelsey? Let us know in the comments.